would you have us? Well, what do you use for a studio here? Have you been in the studio um, since you've been? Yes, in I have. I, I've met a couple of friends. I've been up here, and um, I've been in some full studios, like because I've been here a couple of different ones, and I have a setup in my dorm room also um, back in our huh. um, back carpenter. So complex. what do you have? In the I have um, two like the six inch rocket speakers, not six inches, but yeah, it's the rocket sixes. I have mm -hmm. two of those. I have a, a Satisfier interface. I have a blue baby bottle microphone, and um, I have my MacBook computer, and, and I have um, a machine micro drum machine. Yeah, I have it all in there. Huh. What's Do you use Audition? What's, what's uh, it it's, a, it's an interface that connects the microphone to the computer. Okay. And do you feel, I mean, it is... It's a new team for you, mm -hmm. but do you feel like you're counted on? I mean, you could very well be the, the, the court general here. Right, right, right. Um, well, I would say one thing that I've noticed so far is that it's, it's mostly egoless in, in this gym at all times. It's, it's, it's really egoless. So it's kind of easy to gel with, you know, other guys or guys that I've never met in my life to step foot in Memphis. Um, it's, it's really easy to gel with them because it's like we all kind of figure that we have the same end goal in mind. So we have on, on kind of on common levels automatically and um, kindred spirits already before we even had a conversation. Josh mentioned that uh, like he's aware of some of your music from before mm -hmm. here and like he told us, you know, when, when Rick's at, Rick Ross is at Midnight mm -hmm. Madison, it'll be age appropriate. Mm -hmm. You guys have an agreement kind of on like what you'll what you'll cut while you're here and um, versus before and after and kind of basically keeping it clean. Mm -hmm. Well, just, well, no, we haven't, we haven't really had the conversation. I mean, obviously, he's told me you can't say anything crazy, but for my brand in general, I wouldn't say anything too crazy anyway. I'd say things that are real and things that I've probably experienced. I, I, would, I would say that, but I wouldn't, I don't know, say anything to embarrass my family or my, I don't, I'm a, or Coach Pastor, any, any brand associated with my brand, I wouldn't even step foot into that. So you figured out, how long did you figure out who everybody was? I and mean, there's a lot of new players on this yeah, team. Right. Um, huh. oh, yeah, I'm still still getting used to that. I mean, it took it did take a minute. It took a minute for me to get you know a sense of how each guy works and how each guy moves and maneuvers through life in general, not just basketball. Um, since we're together all the time, it did take me a minute just because it's so many different ones. You know what I mean? Like right. so many guys that I've never met before. So. The only one I really knew was Shaq and Austin. Them the only two I really knew. Shaq, because Austin came on a visit to Vanderbilt before. Right. I met Shaq at a couple of basketball camps. So, that's it. Yeah, other than that, I'm completely clueless. Of Do you think it will be? You said it's egoless now. Mm -hmm. There's still, like every team, there's competition for minutes. Right, absolutely. And I mean, that's healthy. That's not going to do anything but boost all positions in general by, by competition. Um, as long as we all, like I said, stay accord and stay with kindred spirits about having the same end goal in mind, I think we'll be fine. I don't think it'll be any ego. What can this team do? When you, is there a lot of talent in this gym? Um, it is absolutely a lot of talent, uh, no doubt about it. There's a lot of talent in this gym, and I'm not one to make bold predictions, so I'm kind of kind of trying to stay <laughs> away from that. But I mean, we are sky's the limit for us. Has it sort of hit you yet, sort of how intense it gets in Memphis with the you know the scrutiny on the basketball team? Because, uh, for example, you're, you're, what kind of shape you're in is a topic right. on sports I mean, radio every day. Right, but for me, like, <laughs> how can I put this? Um, it's like me talking about, I don't know, Ray Rice case or somebody like that. It's just, it's not my place to judge what they're doing in any shape or form. It's not, it's not my place to judge. So. What I would say about that, I, I don't listen or kind of beat into things like that because they can be negative or when you're at the top, they can be really positive and be right there in your corner and then something happens like like I've been through, I've absolutely been through it and they'll take the other side of the fence. You know what I mean? So for me, it's just, I don't know. I don't even remember what the question was just because that's such a touchy subject for me. But just in terms of, I guess, in Ed Vanderbilt, probably right. the, 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 you didn't get the kind of coverage that you will get here ultimately. Absolutely. So have and you I, sort of? Since I've been here, it's like, and another thing, since I've been here, it's been nothing but love, but it's been nothing but absolute support, 100 percent support. And the negative things never come to your face anyway. You know what I mean? Like, there's not going to be a single reporter, a single media guy 
come up to me and be like, oh, so Coach Preston said you were fat. Do you have a comment on that? You know what I mean? So, uh, and I'm not really worried about anything like that. So I Coach mean, Pastor said you're fat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'll be back soon. I promise. I'm working on it. Working progress. Uh, exactly. Working right. progress.